Hey, it's Alan from Star 99.9, today's best mix and ctboom.com, backstage at Mohican Sun Arena with Haley and Taylor and Jeremy, better known as Paramore. How's it going? Hey, thanks for doing this. How's the tour been? It's been really good. It's so busy and just like, this has been the craziest year, so this tour has been really cool just to celebrate with our fans, you know, the entire year, so cap it off. That's cool. It's starting to wind down, and just the other night you did Madison Square Garden, you headlined for the very first time. Yeah. What is that like? That's got to be amazing. It's insane, because it's, in all reality, it's just another show. Mm -hmm. We put on the same show, we bring the same energy, everything, but the fact that it's Madison Square Garden, it completely brings it on to another level. You know, mm -hmm. So it was really nerve-wracking, but it was one of, I mean, it was a highlight for us, a yeah, yeah. highlight, so it was really cool, really cool. Now, the new album's great. Some people think it has a little bit of a departure of sound from the previous albums. I don't necessarily actually agree with that, personally, okay. but I like it. It debuted at number one, and that's really all that matters. <laughs> um, so what went into making the new album? Um, this album, we sort of spent the longest amount of time getting it ready, you know, make, actually creating it, writing the songs. Um, a lot went into it, you know, a lot of, a lot of just life, you know, we, we, our, our band, we've been together for, the three of us have been playing music together for like 10 years now, mm -hmm. so it, it was a lot of like, just all of our life experiences, especially over the last three years, coming out in these songs, and obviously Taylor sort of took on a, a main songwriting role and writing a lot of the music and just like, kind of coming to the forefront more than he's ever been, and it was really like, a, a huge, I, to me it was a big departure because we did we couldn't do anything the same way you know like everything that we all of our formulas and all of our sort of patterns didn't work anymore and um and I'm so thankful because it, I I feel like otherwise we would have just been stuck in the same sort of mindset and just the same I don't know just the same ways of writing and and we were forced out of our comfort zone. Are you guys at all surprised at how many different radio formats and outlets have picked up the new record? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's been cool. Hearing ourselves on the radio, period, is yeah. surprising. It's just, when you start a band, obviously you hope for big things to happen, but you never assume, especially in Nashville where everyone plays music, Yeah. <laughs> you know, just, you never, I don't know, I guess you don't count on success, you know, and so to hear our song on the radio and then to hear it on Alternative and to hear it on Top 40 and AC, we're just like, what? Like, <laughs> so cool, so surreal. But it's, we always say, but it's like in that thing you do when they, when they hear their song on the yeah. radio. <laughs> I feel that way almost every time. This, Whoa, this is our song. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. I mean, you still have the drive. I'm sorry. I didn't no, no. Drive. I was just sitting here in the casino last night and it came on and I was just kind of like, right? Oh, hey. <laughs> <Cool>. That's <laughs> great. Looking around to see if anyone's like dancing to it yeah. or see me dancing to it. <laughs> <laughs> 